You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by SiouxFallsFireworks.org. Mr. Ferris, how are you, sir? Pretty darn good. You know who's having a birthday today? Of course you don't. That's why I'm here. Oh, who's, who is it? Natalie Portman. She's getting up there, getting a little long in the tooth. Old Natalie's 38 today. And she's still adorable. <laughs> she's adorable. Johnny Depp, who's completely insane, is 56. Yes. And Heidi, this one's for you. Ooh. Michael J. Fox. Aww. Look at her melt. Yeah. I Look at her melt. him. The J-Man. The Fox Man. He's uh, 58 today. You know what his middle name is? Uh, J. No. It actually starts with an A. That makes zero sense, yeah. John, but you keep going. It's a celebrity thing. But he, because he was Canadian, he didn't want to be known as Michael A. Oh, Fox. yeah, I get that. Oh, he's, uh, he's still Canadian. Yeah, Michael A. 1934, not Canadian, the first appearance of Donald Duck. <gasps> Here in the cartoon, the wise little hen, Donald Duck. Donald Duck Day today. And all the success he's, he's had, and he, uh, he still can't afford pants. Which Do you is know his middle bizarre. name? <laughs> he still can't Do you know Donald pants. Duck's middle name, Dan? What, John? Fauntleroy. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so this day in 1856, it was a different world. Imagine doing this just because of your belief system, to believe something so strongly that this is what you go through. Man, this is just, it's crazy. 500 Mormons this day in 1856 bail on Iowa City, Iowa, and hoof it west for Salt Lake City, Utah, oh, wow. carrying everything they owned oh. in two-wheeled carts. Mm. You even imagine. Walked it and rolled it all the way to Salt Lake City, Utah. It's a long way. Did they take the interstate? or? Uh... <laughs> I know all about the Mormons. I, I, I know. <laughs> Heidi explains religions of the world. That I think a that's podcast. a podcast. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> It, uh, it is. And she struggled to find a guest, I'm sure. Out of, the world, uh, out of the world of sports, and I actually got to watch this. I was but a ute. It was 1966. Five Minnesota Twins, Rich Rollins, Zoila Versalles, Don Michener, Tony Oliva, and Harmon Killebrew, all spanked home runs in the seventh inning, mm. beating the A's 9-4. to four. That's pretty cool. That. Five players, one inning, home runs. Oh, yeah, yeah it was crazy. Well, last year we went to the uh, World Series where the Dodgers would uh, would beat us in seven games. But, yeah, that was mm. pretty amazing. So mm-hmm. That's very cool, though. Well, Dan, thank you for that update, sir. My pleasure. It's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by SiouxFallsFireworks.org. If you have a credit card, we'd like to help you make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to bettercreditcards.com to see if we can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you get a better credit card. If you don't have a credit card right now, you can check us out too at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. You see? I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, Ranger Dan. Dan. Uh, hi, it is a highfalutin day. Just getting my ranger and stuff done. How's my favorite little cup of the small? Good, Good to see you, Jimmy. Heidi. <laughs> Heidi. Oh, Heidi. Hi. <laughs> the little filly that puts a spring in Ranger Dan's step. You're nice. Oh, I was thinking if I'm vinegar, Heidi, you must be bacon soda because you're making me feel all bubbly inside. <laughs> Yowza! (laughs) Let's get serious here, little Radio Rangers. This may be the final installment. We were talking about beavers the last couple little episodes here. Absolutely fascinating. Beavers get busy. Beavers can get a whole lot of things done. When it comes to the world of construction, they really can't be beat when it comes to the world of critters. But did you know, beavers, for all their highfalutin craziness, they are a monogamous animal. Really? Which means they stick to a mate. That's nice. what they do. They ain't running around all willy nilly trying to do that whole oh, nice. hookup thing. Yeah. Now, dams, as a matter of fact, that's what beavers do best building dams. Dams are normally started by a young male beaver 
looking for love, hmm. looking to attract a mate. So he's trying to show them that, hey, I got the skills to yep. give you a place to live. That's lay. pretty cool. Family. Yep, and that is a fact. Now, should anything go wrong with that little relationship? Of course, the female gets the damn. <laughs> I think that goes without saying. She is to keep the damn. Now, taking this a step further, speaking of beaver dams, the world's largest. Why does that hurt me so? The world's <laughs> largest beaver dam stretches. Ranger Dan's relating. <laughs> the, the world's largest beaver dam stretches 850 meters. Now, if you okay. don't know what a meter is, that's communist talk for feet and yards. <laughs> 850 meters is approximately 25.5 thousand feet, or to put it in American terms, that's about, oh, heck, 250 football fields long. Wow. That's an amazing accomplishment. Wow. That particular dam is in the thick wilderness of North Alberta, Canada. Now, it was discovered after being spotted by a satellite image. Oh, wow. Back in 2007. That's crazy. It's a big dam. Beaver scientists believe that multiple generations of beavers have been working on that particular amazingly huge dam since the early 1970s. Wow. And it was only about a year ago, last September, that explorer Rob Mark became the first person to ever reach that dam. Hmm. Hmm. He was immediately killed and used for tuck pointing. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 hope that's not true. <laughs> Ranger Dan's just going to bail on that note. <laughs> Remember, little radio rangers, what doesn't kill you normally makes you stronger. Thoughts, thoughts and prayers to the Rob Mark family. <laughs> for bears and murder horns, those will kill you every time. This is Ranger Dan out. Say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Each month, you have these things called bills. They have to be paid. It's part of being an adult. Not the fun part, but it's important. So if you can find a way to get some of these expenses, it makes that bill day a little better. At insurancechicken.com, we'd like to help. Our site allows you to see what several different companies have to offer all in one place. Bank out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for Water Cooler Talk with Mr. Dan Ferris. Water Cooler Talk brought to you by SiouxFallsFireworks.org. It and, sure as heck is. Yeah, and we've got uh, an announcement about that, don't we? Yeah, uh, fireworks are going on. There's been a lot of, uh, well, hubbubbery, shenanigans. Last and, week. And, and confusion, because there has been. Fact of the matter is, a fantastic organization, been around forever and ever. The JCs have yep. sponsored, hosted the fireworks out at the fairgrounds for over... 53 years, yeah. Half a yeah. century, uh, for whatever reason, we sure won't go into. They, they decided mm, they just can't pull COVID-19 it off this year. Stuff, yeah. uh, John, one Small, week ago they announced that John Small, who's sitting right over there, looking ruggedly handsome as usual, <laughs> decided, <laughs> "No way, we're doing fireworks. No like, way." Yes, he did. He sounded like a drunk nine-year-old. He was throwing a fit. It was awful. We had to tase him. <laughs> it was bad. Talk him off the ledge. <laughs> And uh, one remember. thing led to another. We lined up some sponsorships, and as of uh, last week, we went and met with uh, Stacy and Kevin and the crew over at Fox Seven, yeah, KTTW TV. They are a media sponsor now, along with us, going to help yeah. promote, which is fantastic. And something that we discovered while we were sitting there, uh, I thought this worked out really well because Dan was talking about how they're a local, independent, you know, the locally owned station, which is cool, and it's an independent station, and we are local and independent. Yeah. So it's like uh, it's the independents. Day for Independence oh, Day, huh? Yeah. huh? See, that. yeah. In fact, we are the last two locally owned independent media outlets in this market. Yeah, so I think pretty close go. to that. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. So there's the the nice thing is I think it really works out well to have uh, another media partner on board. So a big big thank you to Fox Seven. And also thank you to all the sponsors who've who've come on board to help as well. Market Beat is our uh, platinum sponsor. Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Car Swap, uh, our friends at Notaboom RV, and then also a big thank you to our friends at Big Paws Canine because they yep. are the nonprofit that we're working with this year. Yeah, Gail and the crew—they're fantastic. They do some amazing things, and we have a couple other sponsors that we're in the works right now of, of trying to get this all wrapped up and put yep. a pretty little bow on it. Uh, but a huge thank you to everybody who has stepped up to say, hey, we want to help make sure these fireworks yeah, happen. Absolutely. It's been 
phenomenal. And we're going to have a lot of different places around the community where you'll be able to park and watch this uh, and sit in your vehicle and listen to it on Sunny 93.3. So we'll have the, the music playing with the fireworks. And uh, again, so you'll be able to socially distance yourself while watching the fireworks from a safe distance. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Dan, you're going to be there? What? Are you kidding? Of course. Of course we're, we're all going to be there. I'm going to weasel my way in to help light them. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to get the details, you can find them at SiouxFallsFireworks.org. And do we have a giveaway as well, Dan? Uh, we do. Congratulations to Eileen Donnelly and, and the crew after uh, being in business at Southeast Hair Design for 30 years. Yeah. Amazing. They finally got their relocation set. In fact, Eileen opened the doors to their brand new salon and spa last Monday, I believe it was. Heidi's going to be there today. We can business. Yeah, and then, yes, you I know, am. Southeast Hair Design, they were forever off a Cliff and 69th yeah. up there. That building was sold to the Christian school. Which is really cool. Which Positive is things. Total win-win. Yeah. And then Eileen got busy completely remodeling, redoing this cool little house on uh, on Minnesota Avenue. Yeah. Like the 1923 South Minnesota. And so we want to give away not one, but two $20 gift cards all right. to the all-new Southeast Hair Design. And Roxy Sorensen. Yay! Yay. Congratulations, Roxy. Originally from beautiful Storm Lake, Iowa, oh, Roxy really? now calls who falls her home. Oh, that's really? awesome. I'm from Storm That's Lake, Heidi's Iowa. hometown. Okay. Yeah. Well, her, her, uh, her married name is Bodholt. Bodholt. I, I, rem- I know. See, there that. we Goodness. go. Holy cow. Oh, this is all coming together. And, uh, <laughs> Jeff Lasick, L-A-C-E-K. All right, yay. Congratulations. $20 gift Where's card. Where's he originally from, Dan? To the all-new <laughs> I wasn't really interested in creeping Jeff. So, <laughs> and on your own there, Jeff. We love you, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for listening, man. I saw the name Roxy, and I'm all over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's married. Oh, doggone it. <laughs> oh, Heidi, you and your rules. <laughs> So yeah, well, you, that's you are cool. now, everyone is welcome to get back to relaxing, renew and refreshing at Southeast that's fantastic. Hair Design on South Very Minnesota cool. Avenue. So there you go. Very cool. If you'd like to register to win, you can do that at sunnyradio.com. Top of the page, you're going to see a little uh, link there that says Win Awesome Prizes. Click that and you are well on your way to being a winner. Uh, we've also got Tire Motive on there as a prize. We'll be giving those uh, some of that away, uh, oil change from them later this week. And coming up next, we have... Your bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom. Going to chat with the folks about the Home Builders Association Parade of Homes. It's going to happen. It's about a month later than normal, but it uh, this is another one of those things where the show must go on, and we're excited to get all the details coming up. 2020 has become quite an interesting year. Many people have been cooped up for way too long. We're excited to join hundreds of friends for a fun time in Cancun this October. Hear awesome music from Belinda Carlisle, Cheap Trick, Billy Idol, and many more. The Sands is at the end of October, and we are ready for a vacation. I hope you will join us. We've been to this event for many years, and it is so much fun. Get more information and reserve your spot at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time right now for our bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. And our bright spot of news today is a really cool event that is happening. It's a month late, but it's happening. It's the Parade of Homes from the Home Builders Association of the Sioux Empire. And it's amazing. This is the 87th parade that they've held since it began back in 1961. And to visit with us about this event, we have Dusty Rollis joining us right now. And Dusty, even though it's late... The show must go on, and this is pretty darn good news that we get to have the Home Builders Association Parade of Homes, right? Oh, it's great news. And we've got quite a few homes that are all set and ready to go, and, and if people would like to go check these out, what is the process? How does this work? Well, the process is the easiest way to get your information of how to get your investigation going on what cool stuff is out there is go to the, our website. It's HBA. Empire.com, or if you're out shopping at one of your local hy you can pick up the June issue of the Home Ideas Magazine, and that's got your guide in there. And I've got that right here. A lot of great info in here. And again, the event is coming up this weekend and next weekend. So if you can't make it this weekend, you've got another whole weekend to do it. But I encourage everybody to get out early. That way uh, you can hopefully get through all of them because there's quite a few homes, aren't there? Yes, sir. We've got 50 home, newly built homes, uh, just over 50 of them actually, uh, ranging from 160000 to over a million dollars. So there's going to be something for everyone to see. And the homes are located in Sioux Falls, Brandon, Harrisburg, T, and there's even one in Worthing this year. That is correct. 
And again, if folks would like to find the map, we'll tell you how to do that. But what are some of the things we're going to find when we make it into the homes? What are some of the things you guys are excited to, to showcase to people this year for the Parade of Homes from the home builders of the uh, Sioux Empire? Some of the big trends uh, this year that you're going to see are going to be more zero-entry homes. There's four houses on the Parade of Homes that have zero-entry, so it makes it a little bit easier whether a person needs to get in with a walker wheelchair or just doesn't feel like walking up the steps. Another feature you're going to see is four-season rooms. There's a couple houses that have those. Nice. Next best thing is uh, automated outdoor screens on the deck. There's a couple houses that have those. So if you want to bring the outdoors in, those automated screens work phenomenal. Uh, quite a few neat wet bars out there. There's a half dozen plus houses with some really intricate and nice designed wet bars. Also, you're going to see a couple houses with a good old garage pass-through. So you can back the car right in the garage and open the little door and you can throw everything right into your pantry from the garage. You don't have to carry anything through the house. That's neat. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, there's going to be one house that's going to have a really cool metal floating staircase that you can take a look at. So I think there's going to be quite a few neat features to see. These are all things to look for on the Parade of Homes. It's coming up this weekend and next weekend. If I want to go on this Parade of Homes, what is it going to cost me to do this, Dusty? You know, actually, there is uh, no charge, believe it or not. Isn't that great? through and take a look at the houses. Yeah. That's really, really cool. We got we got some sponsors that help make this possible. Let's talk about those folks, too. Oh, yeah. There's some, some phenomenal people that we've got involved with the HBA that are sponsoring this event. Uh, our first one is going to be Thornton Flooring. Next, we've got Budget Blinds and James Hardy and also Scott Slumber. We also have a uh, great bank, Dakota Bank, Quick Curb, Sands Drywall, and Trust Pros. So we'd like to say thanks to those guys. And a huge thank you to all of them, because I know how that works. When you're putting on an event without sponsors, it's pretty darn tough to put on an event, isn't it? It is. Uh, yep, yep. Become, the brakes hit real hard real quick. And and the, the thing that's nice is a nice combination here between sponsors and then also the builders who are actually building these homes and giving us something to tour. And then the most important thing right now is the spectators. You guys need to come out and see these homes, because if, if those builders build the homes and the sponsors invite you in but nobody shows up, that doesn't make for a very good event either, does it? It. No, no, no. We we, def- we definitely want people to come out and visit and talk to us. All us builders are going to be on site, so if you do have any questions when you get out there, we should uh, be able to give you the answers you're looking for. Do you have a home on the Parade of Homes this year, Dusty? I sure do. I sure do over on the uh, east side of town in Mystic Meadows there. Very nice. And is your home that you have, is it already sold or is it available right now? It is available. So if somebody listening is going, boy, I sure would like to live over in that neighborhood, you could help them out, right? We sure could. And how, how would I get a hold of you if I'd like to talk to you about that specific home? Uh, you can give me a call or check out our uh, website, rallisconstruction.com, uh, or you can check, you give me a call, 605-728-6668. Well, very good. Dusty, thank you for all that you do. I know you and I get to chat every year about this, and I know you put a lot of time and effort into making sure this event goes off uh, as well as it does every year. So thank you so much for doing that. You bet. Thank you, sir. And we may be a month behind our regular schedule with the whole COVID stuff going on, but the show must go on. And if you want to get out and check it out, the Parade of Homes coming up this weekend and next weekend, all of the information is available right now at hbasuempire.com. And this has been our Bright Spot of News, brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. Small businesses are the heart of our community. As things get back to normal, I hope you'll go out of your way to do business with locally owned businesses in your area. We've been so pleased with the response of our gift card challenge that we're going to keep this going. If you can, buy an extra gift card. You can use it yourself or give it to someone who needs a little help right now. When you buy a gift card, remember to post a photo on social media with hashtag gift card challenge learn more at giftcardchallenge.org and it's time right now for a little bit of entertainment news of the day with mr dan ferris hey man celebrity fabulous Fabulous. We almost never talk animated characters but they can be huge celebrities too because they are oh yeah because hey, they are I grew up on Bugs Bunny, loved the Bugs yeah. Man. Oh, really yeah. did. Always felt kind of bad for Elmer Fudd. I mean, oh, yeah. me too. Always efforting, always efforting. And same with Yosemite Sam. Oh, I always liked oh, him, though. Oh, yeah. He taught me some of my favorite words growing up. <clears throat> well, because, you know, we are what we are anywhere. Our pop culture and virtue signaling and everything else, the producers of Bugs Bunny cartoons, Looney Tunes. Uh, no. Elmer Elmer Fudd has had his gun stripped. Mm. No. So everything they produce now, Elmer uh, Elmer doesn't get a gun. Gun free. So how's he hunting? 
What is he doing, throwing rocks at them? What is fascinating is Rick's. the producers are saying, oh, no, don't worry, we'll, we'll still have all the cartoon violence. Oh, really? With, like, tea and dynamite, and I, I, I realize oh I'm going... Oh, my Well, that's way better. Right? And, in this, and in the little scene I saw, one of the new cartoons got Elmer Fudd chasing bugs with a... What's it called? A, a sickle. A, a sickle. Yeah, this big or a sign. It's like, what? how is this an improvement? It's way better. Exactly. So they're just citing as gun violence it has to go. It's not like Elmer ever killed anybody with his no. gun because he didn't. He's a, about as good a shot as a stormtrooper. Uh, so yeah, and it's uh, had wow. some other uh, ramifications too over the past couple weeks. The uh, networks, your cable providers, whatever, satellite dish, whatever you get, wherever you watch these two shows on, you can't find them anymore. Uh, they have uh, pulled, they're saying temporarily, uh, reality shows Live PD okay. and Cops. Oh. Cops have been on the air over 20 years, but yeah. yeah. But they've taken that down. And then in some other industries, let's talk about the Legos company. Who doesn't love Lego? Oh, yeah. I, I used like Legos. to. Yeah, they have uh, now stopped marketing Legos uh, sets with with police oh. mm-hmm. imaging. And, um, so. Why is that? I just, Everybody hates the cops right now. That's I what don't. you're supposed to do. Got I love the cops. And, no, I know. I agree completely. I, and I, I am say, so against all of this. I'm not a fan of a cop that does something bad, but that's that person. That's that one individual. That's not the entire no, what group you're of seeing, police. What you're seeing is generational. Yeah, it's okay? too bad. I've been in marketing, promotion, media for a long, long time, but now essentially what you have in... So marketing departments, major companies, whatever, they're primarily 20-somethings and their take yeah. on life, culture, ideology, social things. There's a, just a far cry from, say, what mine is. And what you're seeing is the results of that. A lot of knee-jerk, yeah. Yeah. ready, fire, aim. Yeah. You know, where everything is launched out of emotion as opposed to intellect and understanding. And let's look right. at the big picture. So, And yeah. sometimes I think we all need to take a deep breath before we make decisions. I know I do. Or take a deep breath yeah. and go to church. Yeah. There you and, go. And, but, but I'll see things like in the midst of something, some company will fire off a tweet saying, hey, this is what we believe. And then later you look back and go, why would you have even done that? Why did you even pull yourself into this? Why would you take a stand? Like, I don't all, understand. way. You know, because now you're alienating a whole group of people. And I know it was probably well-meaning, but either way. Dan, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate you stirring things up here this morning. <laughs> I still love bugs. I do, I too. Do too. I kind of based my life on him. Yeah. When I, when I think about it. I think it's really cool. The voice of Bugs Bunny, the original voice, Mel Blanc, was actually allergic to carrots. I just think that's, for some reason, really funny. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. So... Well, Dan, thank you again for coming in. We'll uh, talk to you again tomorrow. How's that sound? Oh, I might, maybe. I may need a day or two. This <laughs> sitting around being ruggedly handsome kind of takes a strain <laughs> on me. It's a lot of pressure, John. It really is. I don't mean to put that much pressure on you, but you know, you are up to the challenge every single day. <laughs> Dan Ferris, award-winning newscaster, right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the John and Heidi Show <laughs> Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you exclusively right now by Sioux Falls Fireworks dot org. If you have a credit card. We'd like to help you make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if we can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you get a better credit card. If you don't have a credit card right now, you can check us out too at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Tuesday, June 9th. Bullish bets on the S&P 500 are increasing daily as news fuels a market melt-up. Market melt-ups occur when the market is faced with a rapidly improving outlook, and that is what we have today. A rapidly improving outlook, and one fueled by even more good news. Monday, the WHO came out and said asymptomatic patients are not spreading COVID-19 as previously feared. Their recommendation, governments should double their focus on containment. What this means for the market is profound. If the asymptomatic transmission is not the threat once feared, reopening the economy should be fairly easy and lead to sustained economic growth over the coming quarters. The next big hurdle for the S&P is the all-time high set just prior to March 2020 corrections. Looking at the charts, investors should be ready to see that mark hit, if not exceeded, within the next few weeks. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.